In this video, we will explore 10 mind-bending paradoxes that are guaranteed to keep you up at night. The paradox of choice, a concept popularized by psychologist Barry Schwartz, delves into the relationship between the abundance of options and our well-being. At first glance, it might seem that having a plethora of choices is a symbol of freedom and control over our lives. However, this paradox reveals that an excessive array of options can lead to unexpected consequences, often resulting in decision-making challenges, anxiety, and even dissatisfaction with our choices. Consider a simple scenario. You walk into a store looking for a new pair of jeans. You're greeted with rows upon rows of denim in various styles, colors, and sizes. While this variety might seem exciting, it can quickly transform into an overwhelming and stressful experience. The paradox of choice suggests that when faced with too many options, we can experience decision paralysis, feeling unable to make a choice due to the fear of making the wrong one. Furthermore, as we grapple with the multitude of options, we might start setting unrealistically high expectations for our choices. We assume that with so many possibilities, there must be a perfect choice that meets all our criteria. However, the reality is that no choice is flawless, and this quest for perfection can lead to dissatisfaction with even a well-considered decision. Interestingly, this paradox doesn't just apply to shopping. It can infiltrate various aspects of our lives, from choosing a career path to selecting a restaurant for dinner. The more choices we encounter, the more mental energy we expend on evaluating each one. This cognitive load can increase stress and diminish the enjoyment of the process. In a world where options are seemingly limitless, the paradox of choice encourages us to consider the quality of our decisions over the quantity of options. It reminds us to approach choice with mindfulness, recognizing that too many choices can paradoxically lead to less contentment and more anxiety. The ship of Theseus paradox, also known as Theseus's paradox, is a thought experiment that examines the philosophical concepts of identity, change, and the nature of objects. It takes its name from the legendary Greek hero Theseus and his ship, which serves as the backdrop for this intriguing and timeless puzzle. Imagine a ship belonging to Theseus, revered for his heroic deeds. Over time, as the ship sails the seas and endures wear and tear, its various parts, planks, sails, ropes, gradually start to deteriorate. To keep the ship seaworthy, Theseus's loyal sailors dutifully replace the decaying parts with new ones. As time goes on, every single part of the ship gets replaced at some point due to decay or damage. The paradoxical question then arises, is the ship, after all these replacements, still the same ship of Theseus? This question highlights the philosophical dilemma of identity and the nature of change. If an object undergoes a complete transformation of its components, can it still retain its original identity? On one hand, it seems that the ship of Theseus should still be the same ship, as long as its purpose and function remain intact. On the other hand, if every single part has been replaced, can we really claim that it's the same ship? The ship of Theseus paradox delves into the complexities of continuity and the role of individual parts in defining the whole. It also explores the tension between the essence of an object and the components that comprise it. Philosophers have debated whether identity is tied to an object's history, function, or a combination of both. As we contemplate this paradox, we find ourselves embarking on an ageless exploration into the fundamental essence of existence. The grandfather paradox is one of the most famous time travel paradoxes that has captivated the imagination of science fiction enthusiasts, philosophers, and physicists alike. This paradox is named after the scenario it presents, involving a person's own grandparents and the potential for a logical contradiction if time travel were possible. The setup of the grandfather paradox goes like this. Imagine you invent a time machine and travel back in time to a point before your grandparents were married. While in the past, you inadvertently prevent your grandparents from meeting each other, which means they never marry and never have your parents. Consequently, your parents would never be born, which means you would never be born to invent the time machine in the first place. 
This creates a paradoxical loop. How could you have traveled back in time to alter events if you were never born to invent the time machine? The grandfather paradox showcases a potential inconsistency in the fabric of time travel. If time travel were possible and one could change the past, it raises the question of what happens when actions in the past have implications for the traveler's own existence. Would the universe allow contradictory events to unfold? This paradox has profound implications for our understanding of causality and the concept of time itself. It challenges the possibility of changing the past without creating logical contradictions. While the grandfather paradox remains a captivating concept, it also demonstrates the complexities of time travel and the intricate relationship between cause and effect. It serves as a reminder that even in the realm of imagination, the laws of logic and consistency exert their influence, pushing us to explore the boundaries of our understanding of time, reality, and the mysteries of the universe. The Barber Paradox is a self-referential and mind-twisting logical puzzle that challenges our intuitions about sets, membership, and the nature of logical statements. This paradox, also known as the Russell Paradox, was formulated by philosopher and logician Bertrand Russell as a way to expose the inherent complexities and contradictions that can arise from seemingly innocent assumptions. The paradox is usually framed within the context of a fictional town and involves a barber who shaves all those who do not shave themselves. The paradox unfolds in the following way. In this town, there's a rule that the barber shaves all men who do not shave themselves. Now the question arises, should the barber shave himself? If the barber shaves himself, he would belong to the category of those who shave themselves, which contradicts the rule that the barber only shaves those who do not shave themselves. On the other hand, if the barber does not shave himself, then according to the rule, he should be shaved by the barber. This creates a paradoxical loop where it seems impossible to determine whether the barber should shave himself or not. The barber paradox showcases the often counterintuitive nature of self-reference and set membership. It reveals how assumptions about sets and categories can lead to unexpected contradictions and challenges the idea of constructing consistent logical systems. In a broader sense, the Barber Paradox has implications for formal systems of mathematics and logic. It highlights the need for careful consideration when dealing with self-referential statements and the importance of establishing consistent rules within logical frameworks. The Barber Paradox is not meant to be solved in a traditional sense, but rather to provoke thought and highlight the intricacies of logical reasoning. The bootstrap paradox is a captivating concept within the realm of time travel. This paradox challenges our understanding of causality and the flow of time, raising profound questions about the nature of information, events, and their origins. At the heart of the bootstrap paradox lies a scenario involving an object or information that is sent back in time to the past. However, unlike other time travel scenarios, the origin of the object or information becomes uncertain leading to a circular loop without a clear starting point. Imagine you have a time machine and you use it to travel back in time to meet a famous author, let's say Shakespeare. You bring with you a copy of one of Shakespeare's plays. Upon meeting him, you give him the play and he is inspired by it to write the very play you brought back in time. The paradox emerges when you consider the question, who is the original author of the play? In this scenario, the play seems to have no original source. It's caught in a loop where its existence is dependent on being brought back in time, but its creation was triggered by its presence in the past. This creates a tangled web of causality where the past, present, and future seem to intertwine in ways that challenge our linear understanding of time. The bootstrap paradox plays with the idea that time travel could lead to a chain of events that lack a clear cause and effect relationship defying our intuitions about how events unfold. It poses intriguing questions about the nature of information, creativity, and the stability of the timeline. In popular science fiction, the bootstrap paradox often leads to narrative twists and turns, emphasizing the complexity of time travel's consequences. While the paradox doesn't have a straightforward resolution, 
it provokes us to contemplate the nature of time, causality, and the limits of our current understanding of the universe. Hempel's Paradox, formulated by philosopher Carl Hempel, is a fascinating puzzle that resides within the realm of confirmation theory, a branch of philosophy concerned with how evidence supports or confirms hypotheses. This paradox challenges our intuitions about the relationship between evidence and confirmation, highlighting the intricacies of inductive reasoning. The paradox centers around an intriguing scenario involving a green apple and a hypothesis about ravens. Imagine you have a hypothesis that states, all ravens are black. Now, consider the scenario where you observe a green apple. The paradoxical twist arises when you realize that, according to the logic of confirmation, this observation somehow supports the hypothesis about ravens. How does observing a green apple confirm the hypothesis about black ravens? The key lies in the logical structure of confirmation theory and the concept of confirmation via contraposition. This principle suggests that if a statement and its contrapositive are both true, then the original statement is confirmed. In this case, the contrapositive of the hypothesis all ravens are black is, if something is not black, then it's not a raven. When you observe a green apple, you have evidence that something is not black and also not a raven. This, in turn, confirms the contrapositive, which then indirectly confirms the original hypothesis about black ravens. Hempel's paradox showcases the subtleties and sometimes counterintuitive nature of inductive reasoning. It reminds us that evidence isn't always straightforward and that confirmation can operate in intricate ways. The paradox underscores the complexities of drawing conclusions from observations and highlights the limitations of the methods we use to assess evidence and hypotheses. In the grander philosophical landscape, Hempel's paradox intersects with discussions about scientific methodology the nature of evidence, and the philosophical underpinnings of induction. It invites us to critically examine how we justify beliefs based on observations and how our logical frameworks interact with the complexities of the real world. The Fermi Paradox, named after the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, is a thought-provoking and perplexing concept that challenges our expectations regarding the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Despite the vastness of the universe, which contains countless stars and planets, the paradox raises a puzzling question. Why haven't we encountered any signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life, given the seemingly high likelihood of its existence? Various factors contribute to the Fermi paradox. The Drake Equation attempts to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy, considering factors like star formation and the likelihood of habitable planets. However, the lack of observable contact, known as the Great Silence, remains puzzling. Proposed solutions to the paradox include the rare Earth hypothesis, suggesting Earth-like conditions are rare, the Great Filter Theory, positing that civilizations encounter obstacles preventing expansion, and the Zoo Hypothesis, where advanced civilizations intentionally avoid contact. Continued debate on the Fermi paradox forces us to confront assumptions about the prevalence of intelligent life and consider factors shaping civilization's fates. As we explore space and ponder extraterrestrial existence, this paradox reminds us of the universe's enigmatic nature and the possibility of factors beyond our current comprehension. It encourages us to reevaluate our perspective on life's existence beyond Earth and the potential implications for our understanding of the cosmos. The friendship paradox is a fascinating sociological and mathematical concept that might make you rethink your social circles. It revolves around a curious observation. On average, your friends tend to have more friends than you do. This paradox stems from the complex interplay between human social networks, popularity, and statistical effects. Imagine you have a close knit group of friends and you're on friendly terms with all of them. Now, consider the more extroverted individuals in your circle, those who are outgoing and connect with numerous people. They're more likely to have a larger number of friends than those who are more introverted or have a smaller social circle. 
When you average out the friend counts of all your friends, the numbers get skewed because the people with the most friends contribute more to the total count. Even if most people have a fairly average number of friends, the presence of highly social individuals in your network disproportionately increases the overall average friend count among your friends. So, while you might feel like your friend count is relatively average, the paradox suggests that, statistically speaking, your friend's collective friend count is likely to be higher. This paradox highlights an intriguing aspect of human social networks and the dynamics that shape them. It's a reminder that social interactions are not always straightforward and can be influenced by factors such as popularity, extroversion, and the interconnectedness of relationships. The friendship paradox also bridges the gap between mathematics and sociology, showcasing how seemingly unrelated fields can intersect to provide insights into human behavior and social structures. In a world where social connections play a significant role in our lives, the friendship paradox offers a fresh perspective on how our perception of our own social network might differ from the larger statistical reality. It's a reminder that even in the realm of human relationships, there's always a bit of mathematical intrigue to be found. The liar paradox is a classic logical conundrum that revolves around the concept of self-reference and truth. At its core, the paradox involves a statement that asserts its own falsehood, leading to a contradictory loop that challenges our understanding of language and truth. The most famous example of the liar paradox is the sentence. This statement is false. If the statement is true, then it must be false as it claims to be false. However, if it is false, then it must be true because it accurately describes its own falsehood. This creates an infinite loop where the statement seems to be both true and false simultaneously. The liar paradox can be represented in various forms, often using sentences that reference themselves or other statements. Other examples are statements such as, I do not exist, or this sentence has three words. These variations demonstrate the inherent complexity of self-referential statements and their potential to generate logical contradictions. The paradox has profound implications for our understanding of truth, language, and the limits of formal logic, and it challenges the notion that every statement must be either true or false. Philosophers and logicians have grappled with the liar paradox for centuries, leading to a variety of proposed solutions and approaches to mitigate the paradoxical loop. While the liar paradox remains a challenging and unresolved puzzle, its existence encourages us to explore the intricacies of language, logic, and the inherent complexities that arise when we turn our gaze inward to examine the very tools we use to communicate and reason. The paradox of Epimenides, also known as the Epimenides paradox or the Cretan paradox, is a self-referential paradox that takes its name from the ancient Cretan philosopher, Epimenides. This paradox is closely related to the liar paradox and centers around a statement made by Epimenides that creates a contradictory loop. The paradoxical statement attributed to Epimenides is, all Cretans are liars. If we assume that Epimenides is a Cretan himself, then his assertion that all Cretans are liars implies that his own statement is false. However, if his statement is false, then it means that not all Cretans are liars, including himself. This leads to a contradiction. The statement cannot be true if it is false, and it cannot be false if it is true. The paradox of Epimenides highlights the complexities and challenges that arise when statements refer to themselves. Similar to the liar paradox, this self-reference creates a logical loop that defies our intuitive understanding of truth and falsehood. The paradox serves as a reminder that even seemingly straightforward statements can lead to profound puzzles and contradictions when they loop back on themselves. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.